Good morning. Please rise and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Coming up next on News in the Flash, PTSA to host annual picnic, middle school, open house, fellowship of Christian athletes, meet, and sports. All this and more coming up next. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this first video edition of News in a Flash for the 2015-2016 school year. I'm Caleb Hancock. And I'm Connor Couric. We begin our newscast with this top story. The PTSA will host their annual back-to-school picnic on Friday evening, August 21st, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Grades K through 3 should bring a side dish. Grades 4 to 7 should bring a dessert. Grades 8 to 10 should bring fruit or veggies. And grades 11 and 12 should bring chips. PTSO will provide fried chicken, utensils, and paper products. Water will be for sale for $1 to support 4th and 5th grade trip to Camp Crosley. There will be two sessions about the new Burris calendar system, Canvas, in the auditorium at 615 and 645. Hope to see you there. Middle school will have an open house for their parents immediately after the back-to-school picnic. If you are in middle school, be sure to give your parents the names of all your teachers. And don't forget, the high school back-to-school dance is on Friday, August 21st, from 8 to 10 p.m. in the Burris cafeteria. Minimum donation to get into the dance is $3, and all donations go to support music and memory. However, all, st all new students can enter the dance for free. If you want to bring someone from a different school and have not filled out a form and returned it to Mr. Pio, then you are out of luck, as they are due to him by August 18th. There may or may not be a raffle with exciting prizes, but you'll have to come to find out. Ms. Confer wanted to share how excited she was about our high school choir. Rehearsals are going great and Dr. Esther from Ball State is an awesome director. Thanks to all our high school Burris and Academy students for rocking it in rehearsals this week. First concert is October 6 combined with middle school choir. Don't miss it. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes has announced that they will meet every Thursday morning in room 231, Ms. Marshall's room, at 7.30 a.m. You do not have to be an athlete to attend. Everyone is welcome. And now it's time to see which one of our friends have a birthday this week. If any of your friends were on that list, be sure to wish them a very happy birthday. And now it's time for Layla for this week's sports. Thanks Connor and good morning everyone. I'm Layla Ray with this week's sports update. Hey all you Al fans, student season passes are available for $25 with Mr. Will Derrick in room 114. So if you go to five different sporting events, you will have paid for your pass and all other games are free. So this is a real bargain, be sure to pick up yours today. The high school volleyball team is selling Pride of the West Side shirts for $12. Please see Mr. Will Derrick or Coach Dodgel for an order form to get your t-shirt ordered today. This past Tuesday, our boys soccer team won 5-0 over conference rival Liberty Christian. They will host Pendleton Heights on Monday, August 24th. This Saturday, August 22nd, our boys will host the second annual Owls Tennis Invite starting at 9 a.m. Admission will be $3 for this event. Wednesday of this week, our high school cross country team finished second at the Union County Invite. They will compete with our middle school team this Saturday, August 22nd, in Monroe Central. Also this Saturday, our Lady Owls soccer team will host Jay County at 11 a.m. 
On Monday, August 24th, Our Lady Owls High School Volleyball Team will host PAAC opponent Liberty Christian at 6 p.m. in Ball Gym. That's all for this week's sports update. I'm Layla Ray, and as always, be sure to come and support all of our fine athletes. Back to you, Connor. Ah, uh, I like tennis. No one cares, Connor. Thanks, and Layla. And now it's time for our weekly visit with Mrs. Mogerman from the Burris Counseling Center. Hello, I'm Julie Mogerman with the Burris Counseling Center announcements for the week of August 21st, 2015. We would like to welcome back all students from summer break and wish everyone good luck in the new school year. For the most up-to-date news from the Burris Counseling Center, including announcements, helpful tips, and important deadlines, please follow the Counseling Center Twitter account, at Burris Counselor. This, is, this will be very important, especially for high school students, but all Burris students and parents are encouraged to follow us on Twitter. That is, at Burris Counselor. PSAT 2015 will be administered on Wednesday, October 14th from 8 a.m. to noon. All sophomores will automatically be registered, but beginning this year, the, this practice test will be optional for juniors. Before you get really excited about not taking the PSAT, though, it is important to know that the SAT has been redesigned. The PSAT in October will contain the elements of the new SAT, so this is an excellent chance to practice the SAT, even if you're a junior who took the PSAT last year. There is no cost to students to take the PSAT this year for either sophomores or juniors. Again, all sophomores will be taking the PSAT on October 14th. Juniors who wish to take it must sign up in the Counseling Center by August 28th so that the correct number of tests may be ordered. Please see me with questions. The Wells Scholarship from Indiana University is awarded annually on the basis of merit and covers tuition, academic fees, and living expenses for four years of study at IU Bloomington. This is a highly competitive scholarship and Burris is allowed to nominate only two students. If you're interested, please let me know no later than September 10th. The Children's Clothing Center of Delaware County offers free services to any needy student in Delaware County. The center will provide new clothing to any referred student three times per school year and used clothing every month. The clothing center is located in the Trinity Community Center at 920 East Charles Street and is open Wednesday noon to 2 and Thursday 4 to 6. Opening day for this program was Wednesday, October, I'm sorry, August 19th. Any student or family interested in this program can request a referral from the counseling center. The University of Indianapolis is hosting an open house on Saturday, September 12th for students interested in physical therapy, occupational therapy, the Master of Science in Athletic Training, and other related fields. The open house for, is from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and registration can be completed online. For questions about the open house or to receive an informational flyer, please visit the Counseling Center. Washington University in St. Louis is holding an admissions information session on Sunday, August 30th from 7 to 8 at the Sheridan Indianapolis at Keystone at the Crossing. For more information about WashU, go to admissions.wustl.edu. The answer from last week's question, what was the most Googled anim animal in the world, was letter D, shark. The only person who answered correctly was Savannah Gaither. Congratulations, Savannah. Come to the Counseling Center to get a prize. This week's question is, which variety of apple has a shiny green peel and is very crunchy and tart? A, Golden Delicious, B, Granny Smith, C, Macintosh, or D, Honeycrisp? Please come to the Counseling Center with any questions about these announcements and to answer the question of the week. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Burris Counselor. Thanks for listening and have a great week. Thanks, Mrs. Mongerman, for those very helpful announcements. Well, that's all we have for this first video edition of News in a Flash. I'm Caleb Hancock. And I'm Connor Couric. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in to our radio edition on Tuesday.